Whoa, but I'm not mad about it. Cheers! So we have an overly filled glass of white wine. This is my go-to, so I'm not going to go on about it because I just did in a recent video. But this is the Oyster Bay Sauvignon Blanc. It is springtime outside. Everyone in New York City is living their best lives. And so cheers. Today I have got a bunch of brand new makeup. Some of it is like hot off the presses, brand spanking new, and some of it is just new to me, but most of it's pretty damn new. I've got NARS, I've got Say, I've got Persona, I've got Beauty Pie, I've got Milk Makeup, and we're just going to do a full face. You know, not everything is going to be new, but I'm going to fold in the new products. I've also got a ColourPop, or actually two ColourPop Super Shock shadows that I'm gonna be using. I kind of felt like doing, you know, a chatty get ready with me with new makeup today. Guys, I just recovered from a hell of a stomach bug. I don't know what that was. I'm not gonna get into details, but let me tell you, I feel like I had like a low grade flu for about a week. So I'm thrilled to be able to stand here drinking a glass of wine and not feeling nauseous. Before we get started, I would love if you guys would give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and also everything that I use today is going to be linked down below in my description box as per usual. Okay, so let's get going. This is not a new product. This is one of my favorite primers, my Beauty Pie All in Wonder Primer. And I am going to be using the new NARS foundation. I've used it, I believe, maybe once or twice. I think I used it in a, I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. I think I used it in a live stream, but I really want to try it with a super dewy primer because it is a little bit fuller coverage foundation. And I just think that that is going to really do the trick. I am also wearing the sauce. I put the Fenty body sauce all over my neck and decollete before I started filming because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna kind of bronze it up. I have a new bronzer. So I'm taking the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I mean, people are losing their damn minds about this foundation. So many good reviews. I know enough about it to know that I'm not a big surprise, but I'm gonna go in really, really light with it, try to get the sheerest coverage I possibly can. That's what one and a half pumps looks like right there. And I am going to also use my Beauty Blender because I feel like that definitely gives me the sheerest application. You guys, the Oscars are coming up. I mean, if you're watching this video when I put it out, you're watching it the day of the Oscars. Have you seen the nominees? Have you seen a lot of the best picture nominees. We really tried. I think there are nine and we saw seven. I think that's correct. I think that's pretty damn good. And let me tell you, my arm was twisted on a couple of, of those selections. I mean, wasn't really clamoring to see Dune. I know, gasp, blasphemous. But if you know me, you know that like I don't really do, <laughs> I don't really do like space movies and like futuristic stuff. If you need to hear more about that. Go watch my previous live stream because we got like really in the weeds about space hate. It's a thing. And I think we made it up in that live stream. So I saw Dune. Um, I also saw, what other long ass movies did I see? I saw Drive My Car, which is beautiful, like beautiful storytelling. Definitely rooting for Power of the Dog. I really, really thought that was just outstanding and I just loved so many of the performances, just everything about it, just the way it was filmed. Of course, it's Gene Campion, so it's like stunning. And yeah, I just really loved that movie as a whole. Honestly, anything Jesse Plemons does, I'm in. Like, I think he is one of the best actors out there today. And I know that that's sort of like thought of as a front runner along with a movie called Coda. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen Coda. First of all, let me just do a check-in about how this foundation went on. It went on beautifully. <laughs> it really did. Like, I feel like one and a half pumps was absolutely perfect. I feel like it looks like skin. I feel like it looks nice and sheared out. I am happy with that. This would take me approximately one million years to get through with, with how little I have to use, but that's okay. Let me just tell you, we saw Coda the other day. And if you haven't seen that movie, I guess you might want to skip over this part. Although I don't think I'm spoiling that much. Let me just say this. I think the part of the movie that's about her family dynamic 
and being the child of parents who cannot hear when you can hear all of that i thought that was fantastic i loved that part of the movie but hot take the other half that's about you know just her being <gasps> talented and nobody knew and like that whole <laughs> that whole trope I, I could not get down with. It was like, say the last dance slash Mr. Holland's opus slash ABC family. I don't know, I was so confused. It was so cliche. As a person who obviously like is a singer and a musician and went to conservatory and all of that stuff, it just really was unrealistic and I was having a real hard time. Because again, I thought that part of the movie that was about her family and those struggles was so great. But the whole other part of the movie that literally could have been any teen drama about someone who's just unexpectedly talented, I I could not with. I was literally like screaming at the screen. This would be a feel good, great movie to me if it was just like a random movie on Netflix. I would be like, that was great. I love that. Best picture? No, and frankly, like I just wanted more <laughs> for that movie because well, really just on behalf of like the deaf community, I just felt like the other half of the movie fell flat and I was just like disappointed. It's a hot take. I know that the Academy makes like really strange choices sometimes. We're side-eyeing the Academy sometimes, but I can definitely see the actor who plays the father in the movie. I can definitely see him winning and I think he absolutely deserves it because that performance was phenomenal. Now that I like stopped the presses and had to tell you all about my opinions about the movies at the Oscars, I'm moving on to another not new product. This is just my Glossier Stretch Concealer that I'm gonna throw on real quick. I'm very excited. I've heard so much about this bronzer. This is the Say Sun Melts. It is a natural cream bronzer. And I've seen Michelle use this, Michelle Wong, and I thought it looked just beautiful. This is a lightweight, whipped cream bronzer that creates a sun-kissed, velvety finish. Blend with a buffing brush on targeted areas or use a small amount all over for glowing bronzy color. Okay, great. It has organic plant oils and oat powder to nourish your skin. It has silica, which creates a soft focus effect. And it's an easy au naturel sun-kissed bronze finish. I have it in the lightest shade, which is light bronze. And I have to say for the most part, you know, aside from my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer, I love a cream bronzer and that's definitely what I gravitate toward. So this is what the product looks like. I'm so excited about dipping into this. Yes, it's like a balm, folks. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a brush and apply this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like as a swatch on my skin. So that's the shade right there. This is literally going on like a damn dream. So I'm literally just like dipping it in here like this. I'm not even being that careful. This was definitely the right shade. I think if I would have, I almost got a shade deeper and that would have been a bit much. That's stunning, absolutely stunning. I think it's actually quite well blended right now, but I am gonna just take my damp beauty blender and just, you know, make sure that everything is nice and soft. Wow, I am really impressed with this. And I also love that um, the container is so wide that I can just easily, easily just dip my brush in there. Wow, that is really stunning. Say sun melt can have its way with me. Okay, so I'm quickly doing my brows. I'm just using my Kosas brow products. Nothing new to see here, folks. That's for damn sure. Okay, so brows are done and now I'm gonna take a drink. Cheers. That say sun melts. I think that is just actual perfection. I am going to be using this amazing new blush. It's uh, the super blush from Persona in the color Bubble. So this is a very like cool tone springy pink. So with that in mind, I pulled uh, two newer Super Shock shadows that ColourPop sent me. And I'm gonna use, this is called Roy G. Biv and this is called Boutonniere. This is a very just shimmery, shinty pink, very much like a glimmer veil, always so pretty. Here is Boutonniere. It is this beautiful uh, metallic sort of creamy champagne shade. And I'm literally just gonna take that all over my lid because while I do like the pink veil, I want her to be very, very supple. And then just taking 
that all the way up to the brow bone, kind of like a fairy dust eye, if you will. Let me swatch uh, Roy G. Biv for you. Actually, I realize I didn't do that. Here is Roy G. Biv. I mean, just what? Okay, that eye look honestly turned out even better. I'm not even done, sorry. It turned out even better than I thought it would. That's perfect. I think there's a little bit more pink over here. Okay, I think that's a little bit more even, yeah really really pretty very girly and i realized i forgot to set my face so i am going to grab my lys triple fix setting powder i'm just gonna take a dense kabuki brush and just very i mean i really don't feel like i have a lot to set i really like how this looks right now but you know if i don't set it in a few hours it's gonna be greasy perfect set it and forget it i did my liner off camera I didn't want to push you through that because again, just like an old standby, it's my Victoria Beckham satin control liner, but I decided to do the under eye as well. I feel like I've been doing just like the doe-eyed um, upper lash line a lot lately. So let's get crazy and mix it up, right? Now I'm curling my lurches and I'm very excited to use this next product. This is the, I love how I chose this as the way to announce this mascara. Can I make things harder for myself? Okay, this is <laughs> the Milk Rise Mascara. I used this, I think, once on a live stream and I really, really liked it. So I'm excited to try it again. Also, can we get some snaps for this packaging? I love like the rubbery feel of it. I mean, it really does provide really nice control when you're putting on your mascara and it's just, it's just fun. So this really uh, <laughs> claims to do all the things, like everything that you can think that a mascara might claim to do is what this claims. And I can tell you right now, this is absolutely a mascara that I can go in with, with abandon. I do not have to be careful, which is one of my, you know, one of the most important things to me when it comes to mascara. I tried the Milk Makeup Kush mascara that came out years ago. I didn't like that. I mean, I know a lot of people just were dying about it. I can't quite even remember what it was. I was just underwhelmed, so I remember actually returning that. But this is fantastic, and I feel like it really is that Goldilocks formula, it's, it's not wet, but it's not too dry. It's just right there in between perfect for building your mascara up if you want to. I will say, I think the strength of this mascara is definitely more like volume, like sexy fluffiness, more so than length. Although I'm not mad about that aspect of it either. I just think that, you know, if I went in with like roller lash or something, I could probably get a little bit more length out of this, but I'll tell you what, this really does give me just like sexy, fluttery lashes. And you know, if I feel like I'm not getting the length I want, I just take the edge of the wand and literally tap the very, very ends of my lashes, almost kind of like painting my lashes. And I'm gonna do my lower lashes as well. I'm not gonna go back in and dip a second time because I just, you know, feel like whatever's left on the wand is going to be sufficient and I was correct. So the only movies I didn't see from the best picture category are King Richard and it's not because we didn't want to we just didn't you know we just didn't get to it but uh King Richard which I do want to see and we also did not see Belfast but everything else we saw we saw Licorice Pizza and West Side Story in theaters West Side Story is probably my most favorite nominated film in the Best Picture category. If you guys have not seen West Side Story, I think it's phenomenal. I will also say that as a person who inappropriately did West Side Story twice in my life, playing Anita. So yes, highly inappropriate, but you know, it was years ago and I guess we didn't have any morals or standards. But um, anyway, I that being said, I've done the show and it was one of my favorite shows of all time to do. I love the stage production of it. I love the original movie and I love the new movie. I just think it totally stands up to its predecessors. That man who plays Riff is phenomenal like wow the casting on that movie 
nailed it. Also, why does Rachel Ziegler not have an invite to the Academy Awards? I'm confused. I need answers. What the fuck is going on? So I have this cute little sample of a Fit Glow lip liner. This is in the shade just called pink. And you know, lip liners are not something that I use a lot. This is a vegan lip liner, and I think that this matches the lipstick, the Merit lipstick shade that I'm gonna use really well, so why the hell not? And I'm just like overlining the lip just a little bit. Okay, so I totally filled my lip in. That is the lip liner by itself. So now I'm going to use the brand new Merit, oh my God, the print is so small, Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick. And I have chosen the shade Fashion. I have tried this again one time, just I couldn't keep my hot little hands off of this. This is a, a satin finish lipstick. It is incredibly emollient. It's so comfortable. So if you're a lipstick person, you're going to love this because it really is so lightweight and comfortable. And this is like a proper berry shade. That is beautiful. I will tell you, I'm not a huge like proper lipstick person. With this look, I probably would choose like a gloss or a glossy balm or something like, you guys know that. If you love a lipstick, like I said, this is just so incredibly comfortable on the lips. It's a really beautiful cream lipstick. Okay, so I'm like raring to go for this blush, guys. I'm so excited. I've heard so so much about this blush. I've seen so many other people use it and it looks phenomenal literally on everyone I've seen. So this is the Persona Super Blush in the shade Bubble. I'm gonna take my Angie Hot and Flashy BK Beauty blush brush and just tap into this. I have seen enough people apply this to know that it is very buildable. I know it looks like super intense in the pan, a little bit like clownish, but I think you're gonna find, we're gonna find that it's very easy to work with. Wow, that is an Aspen slash Ingenue cheek. There's a lot of pink going on in this look. I'm not against pink, but I think I need to tamp something down because it's too much pink for me, which is really saying something. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this Champagne Super Shock and just make the eyes a little less pinky. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. And while I love the lipstick, I think I'm gonna have to alter it a little bit just to make this look finish out exactly the way I want it to. Okay, so even tamping down the lip and really making it sort of like watercolor and diffused, that looks so much nicer to me. And I think what I'm gonna do is just, just so I stay true to the shade of the lipstick that we used, I'm just gonna take my Fenty uh, Glass Slipper Gloss Balm. It's literally just a clear lip gloss. And just kind of amp this up a little bit here. Okay, that is correct. That's exactly what I wanted. And then I am going to use a brand new highlighter. This is from Beauty Pie and I have seen, again, so many people rave about this. This is the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. And I have heard that this is a straight up dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter ones, um, whatever they're called, the beauty light ones. And it, it literally is pretty much the exact same packaging. Okay, if there is a shade name, I don't see it. So I'll link it in the description box. But here is a swatch on my hand. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is really nice and light. Um, it is very, very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. I almost think, well, I have to say I love this shade. Like, I think this is a really universally flattering champagne shade. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might like that better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I know that's a little bit crazy, but I'm kind of dead serious. It's interesting because this look is so cool tone. Obviously, there's a lot of cool tone pink going on. I feel like I want a little bit more warmth to this. So I'm going to reach back into that sun melt and just kind of add a little bit more now that we've finished the look. Yes, 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 yes. The combination is it. I'm so glad I did that. I'm giving you a very 
slow, full view of the makeup because I just have to say that I cannot get over this bronzer and this highlighter. What is even happening? Like, truly run do not walk on these. These are next level. Wow, this bronzer, this might be my favorite new bronzer. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, if you're digging on my content, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and you guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm.